Hello, Gemini. Surprise. Welcome to my monthly Zodiac reading. I thought I would try something new this month and come to you live. And we're hiding behind the camera. January is uh, quickly passing us by. It's almost gone. I thought I would upload these videos a couple of days before the new month begins so that you can get a heads up on what the energies are going to be like for February for your sign. February is the second month of the year, so we deal with relationships, partnerships, choices, duality, everything in two. For this month, I'm going to be using the Doreen Virtue Romance Oracle card, and as an advice, I'm going to be pulling a card from the Magical Mermaid deck. Okay. So without further ado, let me get to your reading, Gemini. You are an element air sign, so you deal a lot with your thoughts, your intelligence. Your quality is mutable. Your ruling planet is Mercury. Your favorite color is yellow. Parts of the body that your sign rules are the arms and the shoulders. Your gems are aquamarine and sea cream. Your favorite flower is daffodil. So now let's see what the romance cards have to say for your sign for this month. If you guys are partnered up, I hope you guys do something wonderful with your partner this month. We have Valentine's Day knocking on our door. Try to do something different, special, exciting with them. If you are single, I hope you meet someone very special this month. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. For those of you that are looking, you might meet someone that's a little bit different from what your usual types of dating are. Perhaps someone very different from what you're usually dating or what usually attracts you. But keep in mind that um, your soulmate, the perfect match for you, could be quite different. The reason that you've attracted certain types your entire life and you're no longer with them is because you've already outgrown that. You need to move on with your life. And the angels do know that someone else is better and they will try to attract someone else into your life. So keep an open mind. Get to know the people around you, as you may already have met the perfect match for you. But since they don't look a certain way or act a certain way, you may be discounting them or thinking, no, I'm not even going to go there. Check that person out because you might realize that by getting to know them, you could have lots of things in common. And eventually you'll see, wow, how could I have not noticed this person before? You know, we do tend to do that sometimes. We're so closed that we don't realize that We've been talking and facing our soulmates for quite some time. But we don't realize it at first, so keep an open mind, because you already know the person that you are looking for, Gemini. You just haven't thought of them in that way. Let's see what... Now, maybe the person hasn't entered your life yet, okay? So if they haven't entered your life yet, you may just be ready to meet this person. And for those of you that are already in a relationship or have started a relationship with someone and you're not feeling it or you don't think that they're right, try a little bit harder. Wait it out a little bit more because you might just see that, well, I could be wrong. This person could be perfect for me. Magical mermaids are telling you to watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. If you're constantly thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to meet someone, or am I going to meet someone, they're going to be totally wrong. That's exactly what you're going to attract. You either will never meet anyone, 
because you're closed to it. You have closed yourself up to meeting someone or you'll meet someone that isn't right for you because you're so afraid of it that you are attracting that frequency. And you will attract someone that's wrong for you and then you'll have to learn that lesson again. You don't want to do that. Only think positively about what you want in a relationship or who you want to attract. That way it comes to you. If you want someone that's great for you, that treats you kindly, that's loving and wonderful, then only think of those thoughts, not the opposite, because you'll attract the opposite. And you may have already met this person, you may be already talking to this person, they could be your best friend, and it's your soulmate, but you haven't looked at them in that way yet. So keep an open mind of the people that are around you, or that are quickly going to enter your life, because one of them could be your soulmate, and you're going to get to know them. You're going to talk to them, your friends, you, go out together, have fun. And eventually your heart is going to go, ding, and you're going to wake up. All right, Gemini, I love you. Have a blessed month. I will talk to you again come March. Hugs and kisses. If you guys would like a private reading with me, please check my links below or check my Tarot blog. And it will give you all the information that you need. Bye for now.